Apple Computer was also looking at the growing home market. They gave sneak previews of their new technology called Pippin. This is almost a throwback to the Commodore 64 days. The Pippin box connects to your TV set, allowing you to play CD-ROM games and access the Internet without having to buy a full-fledged computer and monitor. You obviously don't have as much flexibility, but you still get a lot of the feature sets. So Pippin is an interesting example of a device that would let you, for 500 bucks, 600 bucks, run all of the Mac software on a television, and that kind of a hybrid device has potential. In fact, it's one that we think could actually propel Apple into a whole new level of computer users or home uh, who won't afford the thousand, two thousand dollar computer. Pippin is a key part of the new Apple strategy to get a larger share of the PC marketplace, and to do that, they are teaming up with partners who understand consumer electronics. Because I, uh, the important thing is, is to reach the entire installed base of color TV people. So it is way bigger than us and our customer base. And for that, we need new industry partnerships to reach out. So we cannot, we shouldn't compete with our own partners. And as the first licensees such as Bandai and Mitsubishi, they help us reach a whole new range of people. Future licensees will help us reach whole new other ranges of people. So it will be a much faster access to customers, much broader access, and much lower cost access than from a PC infrastructure. And here we are in San Francisco at Macworld Expo. This was a strange kind of Macworld being held under the cloud of all kinds of bad news from Apple Computer. Big losses in the fourth quarter, executive shakeups, pending layoffs, but it didn't seem to matter to all the Mac heads inside the exhibit halls. Still lots of neat new products being introduced for Mac users, so let's go inside and take a look. One of the headliners here at Macworld was a prototype of Apple's new PC compatibility card for the PCI-based Power Macs. The PC card features either a Pentium or a Cyrix 586 CPU. While you can run PC software using a program like Soft Windows, performance is usually slow compared to this hardware solution. There are some software products that offer a similar capability, but basically, uh, if you can, it's the software is an emulation, so it won't run as fast as the hardware. It works just fine. It's just that the hardware will run faster uh, if you need the speed. I definitely suggest this is the, the way to go. Former Apple exec Jean-Louis Gasset used Macworld to unveil the first product from his new company. The B-Box features multiple PowerPC processors, an innovative new operating system, as well as advanced sound and graphics capabilities. With the Mac still the favorite platform for high-end design work, there were several peripherals introduced here at Macworld. Canon showed off its new color laser beam printer, price tag $12,000, and NEC was offering a new desktop LCD monitor. The multi-sync LCDs start at $4,000, a price which might raise a few eyebrows, but it's about half the price of earlier versions. You wouldn't think there would be much of an opportunity for a new word processor, but WorldSoft was proudly demonstrating its new WorldWrite program. It can accommodate right-to-left languages like Hebrew, vertical input languages such as Chinese, as well as English. It's a tight program. You only need 2 megs of RAM and 7 megs on your hard drive. WorldSoft says it created the new word processor in response to feedback from computer users. The simple truth is that people have been coming to us saying that they're tired of Word. They don't want to deal with it anymore. It's too big. It's too fat. It launches too slowly. And uh, they're afraid of what's happening with, with uh, products such as WordPerfect. People want an alternative. People are coming to us saying they want a solution. And we're offering it to them. Microsoft demonstrated an add-on for MS Word for the Mac called Internet Assistant. It will automatically convert Word files to HTML format. It's expected to be available in a few months. One more company announced it was getting into the Mac clone business. UMAX will soon be marketing the Super Mac brand. UMAX was not concerned about all the bad news coming out of Apple. It's always disappointing to hear, you know, it's uh, the mothership, so to speak, having some trouble. But I think it's tactical problems. I don't think they're strategic problems in terms of, I mean, just the turnout here uh, at Macworld is showing that there's still a lot of interest in the Mac OS platform. And I think that's really part of the licensing strategy is to strengthen that. 
That's it for our look at Macworld and the Consumer Electronics Show. For the Computer Chronicles, I'm Stuart Chaffet. Computer Chronicles is made possible in part by Hewlett-Packard Personal Computers, developing PCs for business.